Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike. Amanda's in the house doing stuff, but I just wanted to make a short video of uh, this uh, extension hitch um, that I made, well, that I modified anyway. Um, since then, we got the newer boat. Um, the new boat, if you haven't seen already, we got a new boat and it weighs like 7,000 pounds with the trailer. So the tongue weight on it is 700 pounds. Um, and the hitch extension that I had on there before with the other boat, Grady White, or pulling the side by side. Um, well, the Grady White tongue weight was like 420. So it wasn't that bad. It was adequate for the extension I had. Um, but with the new boat being 700 pounds, I think this thing, the one I originally had was rated up to 600 pounds. So I knew I had to go to uh, a super hitch and I was looking into buying one and they are very expensive. It was gonna be like twelve, thirteen hundred dollars for the setup because you gotta buy the receiver and the hitch. So I thought I'd try to modify my existing one to make a super hitch. Uh, I went off the same concept as the super hitch. So I mean if there's works why can't I make one too? So that's what I did. So this this top one is the existing extension. It's a Kurt 36 inch extension. And it's a, a true two and a half inch uh, shank. So my truck has a, a two and a half inch receiver. So that fits right in there. And then I added another two and a half inch receiver right under that. So I can put another sh two and a half inch shank in there. And then what I did was I just uh went to the steel shop and bought me a uh, two and a half inch shank square tubing uh i came out to there um the only thing is a little weird on this one is like this kurt extension is bent up right here a little bit and that's the way it came so that's why there's a bigger gap right here than down there. But that's the only thing that's a little, a little weird about it. Um, I had my friend uh, make these brackets to tie them together. Uh, I just got me some safety chains and turnbuckles and I uh, mount them up to the frame right there on each side the only thing i'm worried about is if the receiver the truck receiver itself is heavy duty enough which i think it is because it's a twenty thousand pound hitch a receiver but i know that once you start going out with leverage it puts a lot more stress on the pivot point. So that's the only thing I'm not sure about because that's 36 inches and with 700 pounds, that's probably putting at least double 
that on that pivot point where the receiver is especially going over bumps may not be going down the road but if you hit a, a big bump and it starts bouncing it's probably upwards to double the tongue weight so um, I put a spacer in between the two right here to uh, give it a little stability um, I didn't want to attach the two I just welded the spacer on the bottom one and I didn't want to attach the, the two shanks together because going out in the road I imagine this would get tweaked a little bit and I was afraid if I did attach them together, I wouldn't get back, get them back into the two receivers. Very good. So that's why I left it like that. But I mean, I don't really need it attached together because these these brackets hold them in place. So I hooked up the boat just to test it out to see how much uh, flex it's gonna have. And all the way at the end, it flexed, it dropped like uh, two and three quarters. And at the receiver, it dropped, uh, I think an inch and a half, I think. So, maybe almost two inches is just in the flex in the receiver or yeah the the hitch itself the other is the the suspension on the truck going down um so i don't know if that's good bad i don't know if anybody knows anything more about this stuff uh, let me know if this is a, a bad idea. I'm on the right track. Something. So, we'll see how it works. Okay, so I'm gonna do my first test run on the hitch that I built. So this is my version of the super hitch. So I'm gonna test it out, see how it does.
see anything cracked. 